हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सिर्फ मिल अग्रवाल टूडे टॉपिक इज लीड फ्लीट इंजीनियर रोल एट इतिहाद एयरवेज सो यू वॉन्ट दैन शेप योर करियर एज अ लीड फ्लीट इंजीनियर इन एतिहाद एयरवेज ओके सो यू विल हेयर इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द कंप्लायंस ऑफ ऑल सी ए आर ए आई आर ऑप्स एंड सी ए आर एम रिक्वायरमेंट्स इन ऑर्डर टू एंश्योर द कंटिन्यूइंग एयरवर्थनेस एंड टू मेनटेन द एयरक्राफ्ट सेफ्टी स्टैंडर्ड ओके सो इफ यू लुक वॉट इज विल बी योर रोल देन यू हैव टू रिव्यू एंड इनकॉर्पोरेशन एंड फॉलो अप टू ऑल कैबिन सिस्टम्स एंड कॉम्पोनेंट्स रिलेटेड एयर वर्दीनेस डायरेक्टिव एंड मैंडेटरी सर्विस बुलेटिन्स ऑन एतिहाद एयरवेज फ्लीट टू एंश्योर दैट ऑल मैंडेटरी मॉडिफिकेशन आर प्रॉपरली एसेस्ड डिसाइडेड ऑल द रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स आर इशूड कंप्लाइड इन अ टाइमली मैनर टू मेनटेन एयरक्राफ्ट सेफ्टी स्टैंडर्ड and you have to evaluate of reliability data and alert notification to perform root cause analysis to develop or identify corrective actions okay next you have to uh, as a lead engineer shall design compile and issue engineering orders special checks and additional engineering requirements based on approved maintenance data for the purpose of modification aircraft status assessment for reliability and safety issues okay in corporation of company requested cabin modifications additional modifications which are requested by the internal customers and uh, should be assessed and presented in a meaningful format for management decision and approval okay so here you have to carry out any technical projects are, are directed by the etihad fleet engineering management team such as end of aircraft lease new aircraft induction uh, aircraft parking and storage etc okay so he or she ensures that all non mandatory modifications for the related fleet are properly assessed decided and timely incorporated okay significant reliability improvement cost and maintenance reductions are achieved ensuring return no invest on invest investment evaluate and verify engineering order issues in order to provide correct adequate and approved maintenance data in line with the applicable regulations so the lead engineer cabin works towards identification of any deterioration in our technical performance of cabin and recommends an efficient and economic resolution in a timely manner in order to maintain aircraft at an optimum balance of safety okay so you uh, shall also come uh, recommend where maintenance programs and procedures should be uh, amended to do, uh, reduce maintenance and other cost by avoiding delay technical incidents unscheduled maintenance etc okay so familiar with and forces and follow the procedures and uh, maintain a safety and quality management and encourage colleagues uh, and is actively involved in the promotion of a po uh, positive reporting culture okay so if i talk about education ex and experience then uh, qualification that meet the eligibility requirements for membership as a chartered engineer or or any bachelor degree is important next is 5 years of experience in camo as fleet management engineer or you if you have any technical service engineer uh, role then it is uh, add on and training on boeing fleet and preferably with b a triple 7 or b787 aircraft will be added advantage okay so if i talk about etihad airways so the national airline of the uae was formed in 2003 and quickly went on to the become the world one of the uh, leading airline so from its home in abu dhabi air uh, etihad uh, flies to passenger and cargo destination in the middle east africa europe asia australia and north america together so with etihad's uh, cord share partners network uh, offers access they are uh, receive numerous awards 